there once again happy halloween season it is october 30th monday night tomorrow's halloween we're back out on the trail here looking for some fun halloween sites in burbank and we've got one right here dustin to win dustin do win or dustin to win uh this is one we found in 2020 and they have this amazing setup for trick-or-treaters that was um all taking into account the social distancing all that of the time we never find them really on any lists don't find them in any sort of haunt groups but always blown away and impressed by their craftsmanship uh so that said let's start here and show you what we mean All right, love Dustin Wynn Cemetery, or they go by the Fright Pro now on Instagram, or at least they don't have the signage up for Dustin to win anymore, but the Fright Pro on Instagram and YouTube. Beautiful display of the vignettes of Mary Shelley, Irving, Staten, incredible. Now I've made her way to a entirely different aesthetic, Circus of Nightmares, always a favorite. It's light and sweet and fun like the cotton candy it represents. Let's take a look at these killer clowns. Careful where you're going. I'm trying to sanitize this place first. When I'm done, <laughs> magic's gonna be left living. <laughs> Who makes your eyes water going? And then on the weekends, they have the actors out and the family. The kids are incredible actors, incredible. And they've got this elevated setup so they can be doing all sorts of stuff there. And there's a little bit of distance there. I think they enacted that during the pandemic, which made a lot of sense for distancing. But I think it works so well, they just keep it. So you've got this like dilapidated fence, keeps the yard safe, gives some distance and creates kind of a set for them. Got our circus signage framing it it's just fantastic so fun also in I believe it was also 2020 they did their take on krampus which was incredible like totally caught us off guard it was one of the highlights of the entire holiday season seeing their version of the krampus film always good stuff here at circus of nightmares never fails to be a good time.
All right, we've jumped a few blocks over, and this is actually where we were at last night, right in the Rotten Apple area, but Burbank Clown House was closed down due to high winds, and it looks like they are open tonight, and we love this clown house. They actually are new to Instagram, I believe. I think this is the first year they've joined, so you find it Burbank Clown House, I believe is right. We'll check it out. We'll show you the signage for uh, following along with them as well. All right, this one, it even goes into the alleyway there. We'll circle back for that, but let's head to the front of the house first. adjacent to the house. Right. Theming goes on. Right. Oh. If you keep going down the alley, you come to, really they call all this clown alley. This house has jumped on board with their clown heads on sticks. Decapitated, got some clown skeletons. And they've got this kind of photo op back here. But here it seems the skeletons have uh, gotten the best of the clowns. Defending their territory. And this one always catches our attention. It's obviously pirates, but seeing the One Piece anime flag up there always is uh, grabs their attention and pulls us over here. They always do a fun display. A variety of characters in here. Scene continues here. That's totally a one piece scene. That's great. So I don't believe they've ever leaned into the one piece aspect. Like they've had the flag, but this time it really leans into the one the anime and I'm sure with the Netflix live action show that's added to it. And continuing just a few houses down past One Piece, they always have some of the best creepers at this house. It even continues inside. I'm not sure how well the video is picking up, but inside the bay window there. The creepers continue here. And now I think about it, we usually call these Creepers 1 and Creepers 2. <laughs> Is Creepers 3. They kind of specialize in creeps in this little spot between One Piece, and then we're gonna head over there for the one of the Halloween music houses. And this I think this is the first we've done this year that has the coordinated music to it, which we're not picking up because we're not in a car at the radio, but you can see the hag witch in there overlooking the cemetery. like the Riverside Halloween House. This is like the Burbank Halloween Music House. All right, really fun walking these streets. Like I always say, like, I've never been to a Midwest Halloween, but just 
the idea of people like wandering the streets and looking at decorations and like slowing down is so not Southern California. So in my mind, it's a Midwest Halloween and the weather out here is like 60, which is cool for out here. So anyway, it's kind of this like idealized version of it, but really enjoyed that just walking the streets and checking out decorations. Tons, there's probably another 20, 30 houses that we saw that we didn't count, that we didn't do video of. Not that they're not really cute and fun, but uh, not things that we're gonna necessarily podcast about or do video of. So that said, we're jumping back in the car and heading to the Bel Air area of Burbank. We've had a few people out there reach out to us. It's been a spot that we've covered over the years and we're happy to finally get out there and see what we can find. And this one we've been coming to it for a very long time. They always do fun, creative takes on the skeletons and they always are really timely, like whatever's happened. So this time it looks like they're all in on Barbie. But uh, like during the pandemic, they had a pandemic scene, like people lined up to get their vaccines. Uh, last year, I believe it was, was that when the queen died, that the whole thing was about the queen and she like died relatively recently to the space. They always try to capitalize on the moment and do something kind of fun with their group of skeletons. This is the skeletal Barbie dream house. And then making our way down the dead and breakfast in is back. this kind of farm vibes scarecrows on Grinnell this is a new one I think this is where the customized Star Wars inflatables were in the past maybe wrong on that but it's on Grinnell and Bel Air Grinnell Hill fun stuff over here and every year Bel Air Manor goes bigger this year it is scary tales we've got Jack and the bloody beanstalk Got the, oh, there we go, up there, the beanstalk. Check that out. Got the, some ruthless, or I guess they're the three evil pigs here. We've got the wolf cooking up dinner. Hansel and Gretel. So good. There's Humpty Dumpty. Little Dead Riding Hood. Oh, and this one's the Pied Piper. The Rats of Pestilence. So fun. All right, then here at the corner house, I'm gonna check out the house in a second, but this is part of the display. This is great car here with little Georgie and Pennywise going on a little trip. More creepiness up here on the hill. Looking down upon us. Your son Stella lives. All sorts of fun stuff in this yard. But I gotta must say, I love the car the most. The car is like the thing at this display to me. Lots of other fun little complimentary pieces though. Come across this Beetlejuice warm tick, which is super cool. Right here by the way. And we've moved past the warm and we're driving and came across this scene, which is kind of fun. 
no name that we see or social media, but looks like the king has been killed. There's a whole little story here. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but death and dismay in this gauntlet. And this one, my eye, these shadowy figures over here. Light rotates so the mass changes colors from red to blue to gold. Seems as being risen from the grave and then I'm not sure how much it picks up in video, but there's all sorts of spiders and ghosts and goblins kind of like up even into the tree. All right, we've jumped back in the car. We're actually at 1.33 for total stops now. So all of a sudden it's after nine o'clock and we really need to get going home, but we're like, maybe we should just keep pushing a little bit. So we're going to Nightmare on Orchard, which is over on Orchard. It's one we've covered before, but they didn't used to be on the SoCal Haunt list and now they are. Uh, and they do kind of a big Nightmare Before Christmas kind of tie-in. So well, let's take a look. So we've got some boogie boogie and stuff back there, but way more Ghostbusters this time. So cool. How fun. Yeah, and there's all the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, but great Ghostbusters pieces too. That is great. So he's synced up with his neutrino blaster there to time it. I've got Beetlejuice mixed in here as well. This is quite an elaborate display. I love it. Good stuff. All right, that was a lot of fun. And you know, this cr creator, the, the owner of the house, wandering the yard just entertaining people by you know firing off at these ghosts these skeletal ghosts and stuff how fun is that like he's just spending the whole night there's every time a car drove by he would bring out the TA meter and kind of read them and stuff like that it's super fun so now we are driving some familiar streets we're on the Reese area of streets over here in Burbank and seeing what we find we found some interesting ones in the past so we're just kind of wandering a little bit to see what we find it says Alkini Manor this is a really fun little find over here. I love the faceless witches. The coven there, especially under the moonlight like that. It's great. And then some more evil down this way. I got a beheaded guy there. Casco got some snakes. Cemetery scene, guillotine. Rest in peace, Dracula. <laughs> Bunch of skulls hanging from the tree there. This is a fun find. A lot of personality. Oh, there's even a mummy back there. A lot of personality in this one. All right, now we're making our way down Buena Vista. This is one that we really loved last year, Buena Vista Haunt. He does a great job with Instagram, posting cool videos throughout the year, just kind of his work and things like that. He's Michael Myers is phenomenal. Really excited to see it again this year. We've been looking forward to getting out here for a while and I'm glad we finally will. Look at this corpse in, looks awesome. Fantastic fence. This looks so good. Look at this. And there is as Mike Limpson. Really love Buena Vista Haunt. It's such a fun, I mean, the fact that he's out there in his Michael Myers costume, taking photos with everyone. And he's got all that beautiful craftsmanship, the fencing, the corpse scene. Just, it looks really great. Got the music playing. Love that stop. It's great here on Buena Vista. And he gets a good turnout. I mean, it's a busy street. It's surprising how many people know 
to turn off. I mean, I think they get, I, that was us last year. We drove by and we're like, hey, what's that? And it looked too good to not keep going. So we turned around and came back. So it looks fantastic. We're really rushed in general. We're at 136 for the year. We know we're doing at least one more. So I guess we're gonna tie our record of 137. We need to get home. We'll see if we see anything else on the way to the freeway here or something, but otherwise that may be about it for the night. Well, we didn't find anything on the way to the freeway. We haven't really seen anything on the freeway. It's after, well, after 10 o'clock, it's like almost 11 o'clock now. So I guess we're gonna call it for the night. We're at 136. We've got some immersive theater this weekend, haunt theater. So that'll take us to 137, which ties our record uh, for unique Halloween stops in a year. So I'm sure we'll find one, two more in the next couple days here. And uh, I guess it'll be a new record, even though we didn't set out to do one this year. It just kind of fell that way. So wrapping up here more halloween content to come on the channel also on our podcast channels in the days and weeks ahead so we'll see